guys welcome to my channel it's a pleasure to have you as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters and we encourage imperfect sustainability so here are some ways in which you can be imperfectly sustainable so today's imperfect sustainability action is to go thrifting and I know it is quite a challenge in a time of COVID to go in person but I did it yeah me <laughs> so yeah I went thrifting a couple of times and I absolutely enjoyed the pieces that I found Six one shay. Remember Neil of Rush. That day we decided to donate as well as to do some thrifting ourselves. The donation center is often found on the side or at the entrance of any Value Village. As you could see, we are at Value Village today. And Value Village often collects donation to help support the local diabetes association. And I definitely feel great about that. And I don't know what percentage goes to the Diabetes Association, but it's something that I'll definitely look into. <laughs> no. 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 I don't know about anyone whenever they started thrifting, but my first stop is often towards <laughs> the coat section. I don't know why. I would visit there first, then I would leave and return to it again to recheck. Value Village or thrift stores, they are great for finding unique coats actually unique pieces vintage pieces and that's what i love about thrifting on a not so busy day when i don't have anything specific in mind I gravitate towards the jumper or the sweater section. I like that piece, love the colors and while well, the threads, I think they're beautiful. But I am being very selective today because we don't want to over consume even when we are thrifting. That's not the goal of thrifting at all. This location was huge. And it has so many items that you could feel overwhelmed if you're not a savvy thrifter. What this simply means is that I would go to any length for a polka dot piece. That's all it is. <laughs> Thrift stores are 
excellent places to find unique looking sweaters and often in great condition and with great fabrics. I love the colors and style of those two sweaters, the gray as well as the tan. I love the style and the color of this particular piece and I just love the string details at the back but I passed on that piece. Other pieces I found, I found this gorgeous animal print in this absolutely stunning rich uh, chocolate color. Oh my god! So this is the moment I came across this piece and I paused and I touched and I turned this thing inside out because it had details to die for. I absolutely, I just love the piece. It's stunning. Oh, look at that color, guys. Look at the richness. Look at the print. Look at the details, the studs. It was absolutely gorgeous. And it's a piece by Anna La Rocha. And they are involved in medieval styles. Guys, I just love this piece. And of course, you can't buy these items in store, so you have to bring them home, try them on. And so that's what I did, and it didn't fit as I was anticipating that it would fit. I love the cover, oh, I do, but it didn't fit well. So this is what the back looks like. It just cinches the waist in. Oh, it's a high and low piece. And that's normally a style that I love. But as you could see, the pants is too big. <laughs> so I just turned it into a dance. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't fit too well. It was too big. Oh, I was devastated. Uh. Yes, I was very disappointed. But we are on to the next piece. Regardless of whether or not I go thrifting, I and still try my very best to stick to my mantra fabric, fit, and style. But today I did. <laughs> and as you could see, I'm really turning this thing upside down down and inside out as well looking for the fabric composition and guys I knew that this was definitely faux leather it's beautiful but I don't do well with faux leather as you have seen from my past videos yeah <laughs> guys I knew from the very outset that this was definitely faux leather it felt that way and the shine itself is a huge <laughs> it's a huge giveaway but I was still hoping and it is faux leather this is PVC you guys know my experience with PVCs they are not environmentally friendly materials the lining was made of 100% cotton but the exterior, the shell of it is polyester slash PVC material. These, no matter how pretty they are, have very short lifespan. They are the first items to end up in landfills because they're irreparable. I cannot, with a good conscience, buy for leather items. And piece is... This gorgeous boot. And guys, do not take this the wrong way, but I don't normally buy 
anything shoe related at stores is if you have seen from my past videos I've never shown you a shoe or a boot item but this this was impossible to pass oh oh my god guys this is a brand new limited edition Dr. Martin boot did you hear me oh it's beautiful I featured it on my Instagram page and yeah guys if you're not following me there please do so sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love you let's get back to the video it wasn't in the general population of the bags and boots it was securely positioned in a space behind the counter so it was well protected and i guess for good reasons oh my god guys it's absolutely gorgeous it's brand new not one brand new not a scratch except that this is a limited edition laser cut hence the scratches but they are not really scratches they are details details that i absolutely love oh my god guys do you see this gorgeous butterfly do you see these look at the threading details and of course look underneath testament that this piece is a newbie possibly bought because it was absolutely gorgeous but couldn't fit because this is a size 9 and it was a bit too big but I put an insole in and yes this is how I do chunky and oh my god I absolutely love it a hundred percent leather this is my wap a wet proof boot that's my wap that's my wap <laughs> no nothing it's just a brand new boot that I am so glad didn't fit the person so I am a happy woman this is how I am going to do fall guys <laughs> I'll be pairing it with absolutely everything with long dresses short dresses yeah and I did try a couple stuff like i found some gorgeous coats i liked this jacket and it was in pretty good shape with great fabric i actually regretted not taking it there were a wide selection of really great donated pieces today I do have a lot of coats and if they don't meet certain criteria they don't really enter my wardrobe yeah I do reduce my consumption there was a wide selection of animal prints in this location leopard print is a great print for fall I love a great cape 
and if it comes in an animal print i am game but i find that i looked like a squirrel with the little hole as usual a huge selection of jeans as well as trenches i really liked this piece it reminded me of a Barbary piece but i just ruined the total <laughs> visual of this clip because the camera was upside down check jackets are often great pieces for fall they never go out of style they're absolutely gorgeous but again fabric fit and style are key what this video is trying to convey to you is that Regardless of whether or not you go thrifting, you don't just go crazy and buy items that don't necessarily fit you. Leave them for others who they would fit. I mean, sometimes for many people, the options are not always available in store. So, yeah, I find that if I stick to my mantra, fabric, fit and style, I am able to buy what I absolutely need and at the same time leave what is not necessarily my style, my fit and just leave it to those who would probably find it more useful in their sizes. So that's what I do and I hope you find inspiration and I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to always love yourself, accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and drop dead gorgeous. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.